big room. Big kahuna. Big kahuna. Right on the, the pier. Okay, little corner. This fish and chip is really good. Frank? Oh, he's taking me off. He's not interested. I said no thanks. <laughs> Oh. What kind of fish is it? Should be cod. No, here it's usually like Ono oh or Mahi Mahi or... Yeah. I think it's Mahi Mahi. Well, mm. oh, that's, that's fresh, man. Last night over there was a little dry. Tasted like it was frozen fish. Incoming. Well, thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> you guys good? Yeah. You're good? You're good. Stuff coming out the back end. Don't move. But. You're big. Woohoo. <laughs> I highly recommend Big Kahuna Beach Grill. Highly recommend. Boko Moko. I had the fish and chips. Um, 8.2, 8.5 fish and chips were killer. Yeah, clock. Surfing turf. $38. Sunset Strip, 42 Loco Moco, 20 Sandwiches. Specialty drinks. Parrotfish Pucker. Parrotfish Pucker. The uh, prices on the beers are only like six bucks. Nine bucks for a big one. Seven bucks. It's a good, good deal, man. Great place. Become barbecue. Right at the King Kamehameha Resort in Kailua Kona. ABC store. The Banyan Tree. The pier is over there. It's 8 o'clock Hawaii time. Oh my God. Aloha. So now is she in a, is it a boarding school? Yeah. Okay, because yeah. you say how could she be? 
Yes. Hey. Say aloha. Aloha. <laughs> From Kailua Kona, Hawaii. Sitting on the wall. The painting. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We're at the King Kamehameha Hotel, built in 1960. Really nice. Oh, there's King Kamehameha. That's King Kamehameha. He lived right here. This is ancient burial ground. Yeah. Look at this. Nice. Oh, this is the property right here. We got the canoes right here. That's a sacred church on the pier. I've swum around the whole pier before and come up here. This is uh, where King Kamehameha lived in that. In 1810, we're going back to our hotel. Here's another painting. Look at that. And another one. Courtyard by Marriott. Free internet. It's coming down harder. It's raining again. Aloha, do it. Oh, now, now. We come upon a sanctuary of a different kind. St. Benedict's Painted Church, erected in 1899 by Father John Velgin. Without any professional training and using only house paint, he spent the next four years creating various three-dimensional biblical scenes on its interior walls as a way of teaching the Bible to those who could not read. Today, this church is a National Historic Place. The stretch of land the church is located on is known as the Kona Coffee Belt. It sits at Kona Coffee to 3,000 foot elevation and spans most of South Kona. Perfect climatic conditions and abundant rainfall makes this area ideal for Kona coffee production. The only state in the U.S. growing coffee commercially is Hawaii. The coffee plant was brought to the Kona District in 1828 by the Reverend Samuel Ruggles. 1828. Later established Kona Coffee as a recognized brand. Highest production begins in late summer, extending to early spring. In the month of March, small white flowers, known as Kona Snow, covers the trees. Green berries appear in April, and by late August, red fruit called a cherry starts to ripen, just in time for picking. Each tree is hand-picked several times between August and January. They'll provide around 15 pounds of cherry, which results in about two pounds of roasted coffee. Selecting only pure beans requires harvesting by hand. <laughs> the berries are first poured into a husker, which removes the outer skin from the beans. The husk beans are then washed before they are put into heated dryers or spread out on large decks to sun dry for several days. The dried beans are then sorted according to size and weight. Then the roast master goes to work, meticulously watching the progress of the roasted beans. Kona coffee ice cream. Is highly sought as a gourmet item. Mm. In recognition of Kona Coffee history, each November a community festival is held to celebrate this prized product. Since its inception in 1970, the Kona Coffee Cultural Festival has sought to preserve, perpetuate, and promote this 200-year coffee heritage. Oh.